Hey guys, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog and today we are switching smartphones. I actually dropped by Samsung over at Uptown Mall BGC because I put in a pre-order. I was thinking of putting a pre-order for the Samsung Galaxy Flip uh, or either the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Now, which one I actually ended up putting a pre-order for? Stay until the end of the video because I'll share with you my process of thinking. But anyway, so I saw this one which was the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite and I didn't actually know that there was a Note 10 Lite I just knew that the A71 came out and there were previous generations of the Note 10 like the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus so I saw this it was in a stunning red color it was for a friendly competitive price of 30,000 pesos so I pulled the trigger just to be able to do an unboxing and feature here it here on the channel so to be doing today is I'll be switching on over to it we'll do a quick unboxing I'll share my first impressions what I think about the phone and then later on maybe in in a separate vlog a couple of days from now or maybe in a week I'll do like a full review so with that said if that interests you keep on watching let's go Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, let me give you two reasons to do so. Number one, we're giving away a Supreme Body Bag in partnership with Randy Galang in Kickstart Philippines. The details on how you can join can be found in the description box. And we are also giving away a Nike Infinity React in your size. Again, the mechanics, just watch down below. You have to be subscribed though, and you have to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. All the links, description box. Now, before we get to the unboxing, let me just give a quick shout out to the awesome folks of Chibo over at Uptown Mall BGC. I usually go there to have my coffee. So, salat ng taga Chibo sa Uptown Mall BGC. Uh, God bless you guys. Salamat sa excellent service. Love your food, love your coffee. With that said, let's get to the unboxing. Now, as you guys can see, it comes in this black box with the S Pen in that nice glossy red color at the top. It says over here, Note 10 Lite. And if you take a look at the side, it says the color which is Aura Red 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Now, if you pop the box open, it's no longer here because I actually have the phone over here and I have been playing around with it for a bit. But before we get to the actual phone, let's take a look at what's inside the box. So if you peel this top part over or off, you have the charger, which is a 25 watts super fast charging wall charger. You have the USB-C cable, and then you have your wired earphones. Yes, wired, because the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite has a, head, has a headphone jack. That is rare these days. So it's awesome to actually see that on the phone. Now, apart from that, if you take a look at the top of the box, there's another packet over here, which has the SIM ejector tool, as well as a clear case that I actually put on already on my Galaxy Note 10 Lite. So it's awesome that the case comes free already with the phone. So kudos to that uh, over to Samsung. That's awesome. Here you have the phone. This is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Lite. And as the name implies, it is a lighter version of the more popular Galaxy Note 10. Lighter price point, lighter specifications, lighter S Pen capabilities, but the essential S Pen capabilities that you need, the essential specifications that you need, everything and anything that you would need in a functional Galaxy Note, you would get with the Galaxy Note 10 Lite. And it actually made me think for a while why would you even want to get like a flagship that sells for like a thousand dollars or fifty thousand when you already have super capable smartphones within this price point that deliver almost the same experience so it's kind of interesting to see how we're, we're how mid-range to mini flagship devices are really coming of age and showing that hey you don't really need all the bells and whistles we'll give you everything that you need for a friendlier price point so you really have to ask yourself do you really need to spend like 50,000 pesos on a smartphone? Do you really need to spend 80,000 on a flip screen, foldable screen phone like the Galaxy Flip? That is the question I think that a lot of people should ask themselves, especially with bang for buck devices like the Galaxy Note 10 Lite. Now we'll go over the specifications quickly for the phone, but we'll tackle that more during the full review. So you have a 6.0-inch Super AMOLED display, which is just absolutely stunning, especially since the camera is just a small spec at the top of the phone. It isn't like a gruesome notch that you usually see with a lot of devices these days. It's powered by the Exynos 9810, which isn't really the most current 
processor but it is still a very capable processor so if you are planning on playing mobile legends if you are planning on playing like PUBG if you're planning on playing like NBA 2K20 this phone can and should deliver just as long as you don't multitask heavily so if you're going to switch in between multiple apps all the time including your game to your messaging to your Facebook to your YouTube then you might have problems but if you are going to stay focused at one task at a time this is more than capable for the main camera setup you have a triple cam setup which includes a wide telephoto and ultra wide lens that all can be found here at the back, that square camera setup here on the upper left corner of the device. Storage wise, it has 128 gigabytes of internal storage, expandable all the way up to one terabyte if you use a micro SD card. It is dual SIM. The first is your nano SIM size. The second is your typical SIM card size. But of course, the star of the show, ba-bam, is this little thing at the bottom that pops out easily which is the S Pen. Now, when it comes to the S Pen, most of the features that you would want with the new S Pen, you can use with the Galaxy Note 10 Lite, such as writing on the off screen, which is my favorite feature, as well as converting whatever you write into text, as well as annotating or writing on screenshots. I think those are like the three most important things that you would need with an S Pen, and you can do that perfectly fine or perfectly well with the Galaxy Note 10 Lite. So, as far as first impressions go, I'm really impressed. As in, I am really impressed. But again, please do take note that I bought it mainly because I wanted to use the S Pen. And so far, it has been nothing short of impressive when it comes to that particular feature. Where it does fall short so far though, as far as initial impressions, I have two main complaints. Number one, the face unlock or face detect unlock feature is so slow, especially if you're used to the more advanced face unlock uh, features that other flagships have. And number two, the front facing camera is not as good. Uh, I mean, it's, it's average at best for the price point. It's kind of lacking uh, if you compare it to other phones that focus more on the camera than the, than the other specs. I think most of the money and the value really went to the S Pen more than anything else. And the compromise was the front-facing camera as well as the unlock thing that you usually look for. But hey, if those things aren't important to you and you just want an S Pen experience, a full S Pen experience, then you might want to check this out. Again, I'll be doing a more full review of the Galaxy Note 10 Lite very soon. Watch out for that. I'll try to have it out in time either for the weekend or early next week. Galaxy Note 10 Lite sells for a little over 30,000 pesos and you can rarely find it in Samsung stores here in the Philippines. If it's on Lazada, I'll put a link down below so you can order it and it gets delivered to you easily. Now, before we end the vlog, I mentioned earlier that I placed a pre-order for either the Galaxy Note, or the Galaxy Note, the Galaxy Flip, that's the foldable phone, or with the S20 Ultra. Now, I really wanted to get the Flip. I mean, that was the phone that I was so keen on getting. But taking a look at the specifications, it was really just uh, nothing, you know, mind-blowing in terms of specs. And what you were really paying for was the foldable display. So you get that, you know, clamshell opening up type of phone experience. And I really wanted to get it. But the price point, 80,000 pesos for that experience, wasn't something that I was willing to, you know, to, to pay for. Maybe if you were somebody who was super conscious with what they brought and you wanted like a super small uh, footprint for your devices, that made sense. But for me, it just really, I mean, ah, I, I just couldn't bring myself to pay the 80,000 pesos for it. So uh, what I ended up doing was paying actually the pre-order for the S20 Ultra. Now that phone is, in a word, overkill best specifications by a mile, a ridiculous processor, a ridiculous camera setup, 100x zoom. Uh, it is definitely a lot of stuff that you won't really need every day, but it is quite possibly one of the most overpowered, overkill smartphones that you can pick up today. And at least that kind of merited in some weird way, like the price point of 70 plus thousand. But again, it's not for everybody. But between the two, I just had to go with the Ultra. And when that comes out in March after the pre-order, please do watch out for my unboxing and review. I'll also do a comparison with it to the other flagships that I have, including the iPhone, the Huawei, and a bunch of other pricey phones here in the studio. So what about you guys? What would you have pre-ordered? Would you have gone with the Ultra, overspec, overkill, or would you have gone with the Flip? Elegant, classy, 
uh, very nice looking and glamorous. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from all of you as usual. So again, that has been my unboxing and initial switching over to the Galaxy Note 10 Lite. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode for the day. If you haven't seen my unboxing of this shoe, I did a video of it, which is the LeBron 17 Monstars. Take a look at that killer sneaker. Uh, check it out. I'll put the link down below. Amazing story to this one. Also, the specifications and the upgrades that they made are pretty mind-blowing. So if you're into kicks, check out my review of this sneaker. And that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. As usual, peace, God bless, what's up? Boom.